And back, I like using these flat scrapers that we use for taking stickers off of cars. And what I'll do is I'll just get as much of this remnants off here. Because then I'm going to take it over to my 3M buffing wheel. I just charge up my air compressor. Make sure you drain those, right? You're running air and you don't have an automatic drain on it. Uh, mine don't. Mine's just a small standalone. One day I'll upgrade my garage. Once I decide to stay put, I just move around too much. Um, I will put a bigger one in, and I'll show that one day how I did that. I did it in one house. I put a 15-gallon uh, in or a 30-gallon in up in the attic. I plumbed it and wired it. I'm just talking while I'm working on this. What I'm trying to do is get this cleaned up as possible because I do not want to contaminate my chem dip more than I have to. So all this got to be scraped off, right? All this got to be cleaned off as best as I can, and I'll buff it. Then I'll take it out and soak it. I got my awesome cleaner and i'll use my awesome cleaner i shouldn't do it towards my hand right dumbass i was oh, excuse my french sorry kids don't listen to that i didn't say it i say colo i say but um <laughs> anyways i'll clean this off and my goal is to get that all cleaned up and then i'll go to the buffing wheel so yeah i make a little bit of mess but that's okay that's why i make vacuum cleaners so this is what happens with that gasket stays on there that long you know I'll stick this down in my vise without hoping hurting it. I'm not a big vice guy. I don't. Sometimes you can over clamp and damage things, but that's just stuff to hold it. And then I'll scrape it off. I learned one thing: don't keep a trash can next to your workbench. I've had things inadvertently fall off and disappear, and then I realize it was in a trash can. Throw it away. So just have patience with it. Don't hurt yourself. Don't. Do it towards you. You won't get a lot of it off. You don't want to scrape it. I don't want to leave a gouge. But you're going to get as much as you can off. And this looks barbaric right now. But when I'm done, I'll have this thing looking like brand new and operating like new. First try, put it on. This thing will start right up. It wouldn't even start. It didn't even want to hint to turn over. This carburetor had gotten so bad. He warned me two months ago and said, hey, Henry, I need your help. When can I bring my machine in again? I said, well, heck, heck, my friend. It's been, heck almost three years oh no six months i said no no i look back at my records i can keep good records and uh, lo and behold there it is and i know how long it hadn't been so sorry it is what it is that's why you keep records i keep track i mark i don't like people who's trying to hoodwink me you know some try that okay so there I, I did a lot with the wire i'm good with that Maybe not. My brain says no. I got two heads. So. All right. Didn't pinch it. I didn't hurt it. Didn't scratch it. Didn't gull it. Didn't tear the O-ring. So now, come over here. You know what I'm going to do? Because I'm working with you. I'm going to start a video when I buff it. And I'll put it in my vice so I can hold it. And I'll buff this out. And I'll show you in that video. All right. Henry Wiener Man out. Cleaning up the carburetor. 5927576. Can't find it no more. Got to save the one you got. Use Chinese parts to rebuild it. Henry out.